In this video, I'm going to give you five simple tips for getting more sales from your self-published books on the Amazon KDP platform. Now, this includes no content books, low content books, and also some of the tips I'm going to give you will apply to non-fiction and fiction books as well. So if you are looking to get more sales from your books, then follow along. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So I know a lot of you out there who publish books on KDP have difficulty getting sales or if you are getting sales, you're looking for ways to increase those sales and make more money, make more royalties. So I'm going to give you five simple tips for getting those extra sales. So let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, what you need to do is take an honest look at your books. And that includes maybe getting friends and family to also look at your books. Because I get asked to look at a lot of books and to review books. And the biggest problem a lot of people have is with their cover designs, because this is one of the first things that customers see when they scroll through the listings on Amazon. And if your cover design isn't up to scratch, customers will just scroll past it and you won't get that all important click and you won't get that sale. I just want to show you a quick example. Now, I looked up space coloring book on Amazon. And here we have an example, which I think you would agree is a great example. It's colorful, doesn't use too many different fonts. It stands out. In fact, it's quite stunning. And here's another one in the space coloring book niche. Now, I had to actually have a look through this book to see if it was a space coloring book. And indeed, it is. It's a picture of a rocket there. Now, if this is your book, I do apologize. And maybe this might help you um, improving your cover. But if you look at that cover and you look at the market, which is kids mainly, you would say, well, what aspect of this would actually attract a kid? One, it's more of an adult themed type cover. And two, the cover has nothing to do with space. Whereas you look at this and kids would love this cover. So that's the first tip. Look at your cover designs and look at them honestly. Would you actually buy this book if you saw it on Amazon? And would it stand out amongst all the other books in your chosen niche? Okay, the next thing you can do is build yourself an author central page. Now, this is your, if you like, a shop, your own hub on Amazon in which you can showcase your books. And here we have a couple of examples. We've got Jade Summer here. Yes, I know Jade Summer is part of a publishing house, but this publisher has their own author central page and you can see all the books are listed across the top here. And it's a great place because customers will often click on the author name or publisher name when they're looking at books. And if you've got something like an author central page, it will showcase all your books. And this is important if your books are around a particular niche like coloring books, maybe planners, um, notebooks, um, puzzle books, that type of thing. And here we have coloring books. And you can see all these are listed here and they're usually listed in order of popularity, as you can see here on the right. Here's another example. Alice Cantrell has a brand called Twig and Moth and I've showcased her books before on Amazon. And here she also has an author central page. And also what you notice here, you can include author updates, which can be things like Twitter posts blog posts and I think you can um, put up posts from your other social media platforms as well but also in the bio you can have a link there to your social media profiles or if you've got a website one of those as well now the next tip the third tip is to build a kind of what I like to call a sales funnel and that is getting traffic from other sources and sending it to your books on Amazon. Now, if you have got a, an author central page, you could send this traffic to your author central page where potential customers could see all your books, or you could send the traffic to a particular book. Now, what sort of things can you use as a funnel? We've got Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you might find that one surprising, but I'll show you about that in a moment, and also a website. Let's have a look at some examples. Here we've got Instagram, again, Twig and Moth, got all these attractive illustrations and photographs on Instagram. Now, you'll notice here 
that there'll be posts on maybe information and then every say fourth or fifth post there will be a picture of an item um, that is for sale and I suggest taking that approach whatever it is you're doing whether it is Pinterest Facebook or Instagram and Gary V published a book around this theme called jab jab hook and that is you produce useful content and maybe say every third fourth probably more likely fifth sixth post do one uh, a kind of a sales post if you like so that you're not just uh, giving your customers sales uh, related content there's useful content there punctuated by a sales type content page not to say that the sales content page can't be useful content either and if we look on Pinterest which is another good one the main demographic for people going to Pinterest are women it's a known fact and it's very useful to get links to products and you can see here I just put in coloring books and there's all these posts here on different coloring book um, interior pages but also dotted within there are books that look like they're being promoted by publishers and authors so again you could have your own Pinterest page showcase the content of your book showcase content related to your books and then every so often do a post um, showcasing your particular book that you want to get traffic for if we look at Facebook again this is Jade Summer has a Facebook page again showing useful content like this showing the interiors of the books and then there'll be posts on particular books that would interest potential customers now YouTube this is an interesting one and is a potential source of a lot of traffic and if we go over to YouTube I just started doing a search I put in coloring in and this came up as suggested coloring coloring books with markers and here we have posts or, or videos that people have put up where they're actually coloring the interior of coloring books now you may go well who's watching this well look at this first video here 171,000 views this is popular content now I had a look at some of these videos and you could do a video just coloring in interiors of coloring books people like to watch that I think people find it also relaxing as well and you could use a coloring book that you've published you could use someone else's coloring books so again you're not just promoting your own content but even if it was coloring in uh, someone else's coloring book you could showcase your books in the middle of the video or towards the end of the video links in the description of the video and as I say looking at these they're quite popular here's one it's just coloring pictures within this coloring book and it's got 5.4 million views now you wouldn't need uh, a high percentage of those viewers to go through and click on your um, links to your own coloring books so that's something just to, to bear in mind now the next thing or the fourth tip to consider is building your own website and this is part of the, the the funnel if you like to your books and what you can do on a website is showcase your books you may be able to do posts around your books again a website is useful if all your books are of a similar theme and that might be like you know nature lovers journals and log books it could be coloring books uh, particular types of journals you know meditation relation related journals self-improvement type journals and here again we've got twig and moth showcasing the products that she's got for sale now one tip that I would give on this and what I would do is collect emails so you could offer maybe some free samples of the interiors of your coloring books that people could download as PDFs and color in to capture email addresses and there you could build a customer base so that each time you produce a new book maybe a new coloring book whatever you could send out an email to your potential customers let them know you've published a coloring book and that has the advantages of getting potential customers to your book and if a good percentage of those um, buy quite soon after you've published the book that can be a very strong ranking factor for your book and then you can go on to get additional organic traffic from your uh, ranking on Amazon here's another example as we've just been looking at Jade Summer as well and I've noticed that these publishers aren't really promoting or pushing forward their um, email sign up page I know here it says sign up for email updates what I would be doing is putting my um, email sign up box within the top 
half of the uh, web page so that's the first thing that potential customers see and then showcasing your books and also you're protecting your business as well because just consider maybe you've published these books on Amazon and for whatever reason Amazon closes your account could be due to something you've done could be a pure mistake you've still got those customers um, and you know you could publish your books on other platforms and still get those same customers to go and buy from those other platforms or you could have them printed them yourself keep them as stock at home and again send out to, to customers but that would be I think in an extreme uh, circumstance but it does protect your business and you own that list and, and you know can keep it no matter what what happens to the other platforms the fifth tip is to join uh, groups, Facebook groups, uh, Reddit groups, forum groups, again, related to the niche of your books. Now, if you're producing things like accountancy ledgers, uh, Miley's log books, I don't think that would apply. Again, it's to niches uh, where people have a, an interest, um, things like coloring books, puzzle books, where people will buy one book and go and buy uh, multiple other types of those books. And I went over and just put a search for coloring books clicked on groups and you can see here on Facebook there's lots of these different um, groups that you could join adult coloring book fans coloring book for adults adult coloring books and this will be full of people that are interested in in this case coloring books now again don't join these groups and just go and start marketing your work. You've got to take part in these groups, provide useful content and advice. And I think if you just go straight into these forums and groups and start plugging your, your books, you'll probably get thrown off. Now, if you are just starting out in this business and looking at how to create your first books and get them published, then I suggest watching my a KDP book tutorials playlist here, which goes through all the different steps of the creation and publishing phase. Thank you very much for your time. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and until next time, goodbye.